This video is a review of the topics we have covered this week. We have adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing fractions, as well as finding a percentage of an amount. Adding and subtracting fractions. We can only add or subtract fractions that have the same denominator, the same number on the bottom. So we can only add halves to halves and thirds to thirds and quarters to quarters and fifths to fifths and so on. So if we want to add two fractions with different denominators, we need to change them first. So we need to change them with equivalent fractions. So we've got the same denominator before we can add them or take them away. So this first question, work out one fifth plus four ninths. So they've got different denominators at the moment and we need to make them the same. We can do that by multiplying the top and bottom of one fifth. So whatever you multiply the top by, you've got to multiply the bottom by the same thing to keep it equivalent. So the top and bottom of one fifth times nine and the top and bottom of four ninths times by five. So both of the denominators will be nine times five which is 45. So this gives us 9 40 fifths plus 20 40 fifths. And if we've got 9 of something and we add 20 of that something, we've got 29 of it. So this gives us 29 40 fifths. Question 2. Work out 3 quarters plus 1 eighth. The easiest way to make the denominators the same here is to double the top and bottom of three quarters. So if we multiply the top and bottom of three quarters by two, we'll have six eighths. So six eighths plus one eighth. We've got the same denominator, so we can add them. Six plus one is seven. So we've got seven eighths. Question three, we've got two thirds take away two sevenths so again we need to make the denominators the same so if we multiply the top and bottom of two thirds by seven and the top and bottom of two sevenths by three both denominators will be 21. so we're gonna we're gonna have 14 out of 21 14 over 21 take away six over 21 and 14 take away 6 is 8. So this is going to be 8 over 21. Okay, 3 for you to try. So give these a go. Question 1. Work out 1 quarter plus 1 third. We need to make the bottom numbers the same. And we'll do that by multiplying top and bottom of a quarter by 3. And top and bottom of a third by 4. So we'll have 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths, which will be 7 twelfths. Question 2. The easiest way to make the bottom numbers the same is to multiply top and bottom of 1 half by 3, which will give us 3 sixths plus 1 sixth, which is 4 sixths. And we can simplify this answer. 4 and 6 are both in the 2 times table, so we can say 4 sixths is the same as 2 thirds. And question 3, 5 sevenths take away 1 fifth. We're going to make the bottom numbers the same, so multiply the top and bottom of 5 sevenths by 5, and the top and bottom of 1 fifth by 7. So that gives us 25 out of 35 minus 7 out of 35. 25 take away 7 is 18. So that's going to mean we've got 18 over 35. Multiplying fractions. To multiply fractions, we multiply the top and we multiply the bottom. So times the two numbers on the top and times the two numbers on the bottom. So a quarter times two thirds, or a quarter of two thirds, 
is 1 times 2, which is 2, over 4 times 3, which is 12. So 2 twelfths, and we can simplify this. If we half the top and half the bottom, that's 1 6. Question 2 says work out 2 and 1 quarter times 3 and 1 fifth. To multiply mixed numbers, we need to change them to top heavy first. So if we've got two whole ones and one quarter, so two whole circles in quarters plus a quarter of a circle, how many quarters do we have? So two whole ones is two times four, eight quarters, plus the other quarter is nine quarters. So that's nine quarters and one whole and three fifths. So a whole in fifths is one times five, five fifths plus three, so eight fifths. So one whole one and three fifths is the same as eight fifths. And now we can just times the top times the bottom. Nine times eight is 72. Four fives are 20. So we've got 72 out of 20. We can say they are both, well, let's just half them to start with. So they're both in a two times table. So half the top and half the bottom. So 72 out of 20 is the same as 36 out of 10. And then we can half top and bottom again. So 18 fifths. We need to give this answer as a mixed number. So how many fives go into 18? How many whole ones do we have? So that's three, 15 fifths will be three holes. And how many more? So from 15 to 18, we've got three. So three whole ones and three fifths. Okay, two for you to try. So give these a go. Question one, three quarters times one eighth. So we're going to times the top, three ones are three, and times the bottom, four eighths are 32. So the answer is three out of 32. Question two. So we need to change them into top heavy first. So one whole one and one half. A whole one is two halves plus one half. So three halves. And three whole ones and one third. Three whole ones is nine thirds. Three threes are nine plus one. So ten thirds. So this is 3 times 10 over 2 times 3, which would be 30 over 6. And 30 over 6 is actually 5. So 30 over 6 is 5. So we don't need to give our answer as a mixed number because the answer is just 5. Dividing fractions. We need to know that dividing by 3 sevenths is the same as multiplying by 7 thirds. So we can change the question into a times by flipping over the second fraction. And then we can just times the top and times the bottom. 1 7 is 7, 3 3 to 9, so we've got 7 ninths. Question 2. 2 fifths divided by 1 and 3 sevenths. So let's change 1 and 3 sevenths into a top heavy fraction first. So a whole one is 7 sevenths plus 3 is 10 sevenths. And then we can change this into a times, into a multiplication by flipping over the fraction. Dividing by 10 sevenths is the same as timesing by 7 tenths. So we can times the top, 2 sevens of 14, times the bottom, 5 tens of 50. And we can simplify this by halving top and bottom. 
So 7 over 25. Two for you to try, so give them a go. Question one, one half divided by seven eighths. Dividing by seven eighths is the same as timesing by eight sevenths. So times the top, one eight is eight. Times the bottom, two sevens are 14. And this simplifies by halving top and bottom. So that would be four sevenths. Question two. So let's change it. Change two and two thirds into the top heavy first. Two threes are six, plus two is eight. So it's a quarter divided by eight thirds. Dividing by eight thirds is the same as timesing by three eighths. And then we times the top, one three is three, times the bottom, four eighths are 32. And that's our answer. and finding a percentage of an amount. So we've got some questions with a calculator or without a calculator first, and then with a calculator. So without a calculator, work out 20% of 82. So we can work out 10%, we can always work out 10% of a number by dividing it by 10. So 10% is the same as one tenth so 10 out of 100 is the same as 1 out of 10. So to find 10%, we're going to do 82 divided by 10, which is 8.2. That's 10%. We want 20%. So two 10% make 20%. Two 8.2s are 16.4. Question two. So we can find 10% by dividing by 10. So 10% 10 of 160 is 160 over 10, which is 16. We can find 1%. So 1% means 1 out of 100 or 1 hundredth. So we can find 1% by dividing by 100. So that will be 1.6. So 1% of 160 is 1.6. So we want 12%. So we can have two 1% plus a 10%. So two 1%, two times 1.6 is 3.2. So that's 2%. Add on the 10%, which was 16. So 16 plus 3.2 is 19.2 and it's money so that's going to be 19 pounds and 20p the next question says using a calculator workout so we grab a calculator and we can either use the percentage button or change it to a decimal or a fraction so if we use the percentage button we're going to do 83 percent of 94, which means 83% times 94. So we just change it to a times, change it of to a times, and type it in the calculator. So 83, and then find your percentage button. So shift percent times 94. So 83% of 94 is 78.02. You can also, instead of using a percentage button, write 83% as a fraction, which would be 83 hundredths. A percentage is a fraction out of 100. So 83 hundredths of 94, so times 94, is 78.02. Or you could also write it as a decimal, which would be 0 0.83 times 94, which again gets you the same answer. The second question, 36% of 560. So 36% times 560 is 
201.6. Okay, some questions for you to try, so give these a go. So firstly, without a calculator, so we need 60% of 520. We can find 50% by halving 520. 50% is half. So for 50%, we can do 520 over 2, which is 260. And for 10%, we can divide by 10. So 520 over 10 is 52. So 60% is 50% plus 10%. So 260 plus 52, which is 312. Question two, 15% of 32 pounds. So 10% it's going to be dividing by 10. So 3.2. 5% is half of 10%. So half of 3.2, which is 1.6. So 15% is 10% plus 5%. So 3.2 plus 1.6 is 4.8. But this is money, remember? So that will be four pounds 80. And two with a calculator, 72% of 670. So 72% times 670 is 482.4. And 19% times 49 is 9.31. Okay, so that was our week seven review. There's an assessment available now. The link will be in the description or at the bottom of the page on the website.